Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another Google Drive in Python tutorial. My name is Jay. In this video, I'm going to show you how to list files in your Google Drive folder. Here in my Google Drive, I have a source folder. Inside this folder, I want to list out the files using a Python script. All right, so here let's go into our code editor. And here's the code to create the Google Drive service instance. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my Google Drive and I want to navigate to the folder where I want to uh, list all the files and the folders inside the folder. In the browser, I'm going to grab the folder ID. And I'm going to create a variable to uh, store the folder ID. And I'll name this variable folder ID. And here, let me uh, go to the documentation real quick. So we'll be using the files resource and the list method. Let me make the font a little bit bigger. All right, so if we look at the requirements and the parameters, uh, let's see. By default, there's no required parameter. If you simply just want to list all the folders and the files in your Google Drive, so what you can do is you can simply uh, insert a service object, dot files, dot list, that SQ. And I'm going to store the output to an object called response. And if you simply just run uh, this statement right here, the output is going to give you all the folders and the files in your Google Drive account. Since I only want the files in a, a specific folder, which is this uh, source folder, so I'm going to create a query string. Here, let me go back to the documentation. <clears throat> so this is a parameter called Q and Q stands for query and I'll show you how to uh, use different uh, query syntax uh, to create different type of uh, files but if you go into search for files and for this page and below is a list of uh, examples for my query variable I'm going to insert F string I'm going to insert a pair of double quotations. I'm going to type parents is equals to, I'm going to insert two single quotations. I'm going to insert my placeholder. I'll insert my variable name for the ID. And this is going to be my query. And what I'm saying that is I want to grab the files and the folders where the uh, folder ID is equals to uh, this folder ID variable value. So in the list method, I want to type Q is equals to query variable. And because there can be uh, multiple pages, in case if there's a next page token return, I want to capture that. So here I'll create a files list and from the response object, I want to grab all the files from the files key. And to make sure that I capture all the files, so I want to insert the response object. And I'll use the get method and to check if the next page token value exists. Now I'm going to insert a while loop. I'm going to say that while next page token is now none, they want to continue to run the same query. And I want to append the result set using the extend method. Once I have all the files, I'm going to import the pandas library to display my result set. Here I'll create my data frame object. I'll print the data, frame, uh, data set. Right. If I press F5 to run the script, and from the results set, I have 15 files and four columns of information. Here, let me change the uh, data frame display setting. I'm going to terminate this session. 
I'm going to run the script. Right, so this time we have uh, all the columns display. From the result set, we have the file ID, file name, and the file MIME type. If I go back to my folder, in here I'm going to create a new folder. If I run the script for the folder MIME type, it's going to show us a uh, Google app that for the mic type. All right, so this saves someone to share in this video and hopefully you guys found the video useful. And as always, see you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.